Okay, so it's uh, Catgirl here, and we're back for another Java tutorial uh, on our 2D game. Uh, what I've done is written a man entity, which is pretty similar to the Apple entity, but uh, what I've done is uh, exists. Yeah, that may be dead or something, but I'm just going to call it exists just now, because it makes more sense in my other bit of code. Um, so that's basically just the Apple one again, super that one's got vertical movement and a fall function this one we don't we don't need our man to fall <coughs> we will we do but uh, we'll leave that to the physics engine which we'll write sometime hopefully uh, once I brush up on my physics and uh, yeah so uh, the other edits game canvas I've uh, added the man uh, just same again creating it in here Right here, uh, oh wait, missed, missed a big thing. Now when we're implementing, instead of just having runnable, which makes the object basically a, f a thread itself, what I've done is key listener. This allows us to listen for the, the keyword input so we can move our man, which is what this episode's all about. So uh, because we have this, it'll tell you to implement three functions, which are down here. Key pressed, key released, and key typed. We'll come back to them if you just ignore them just now. Uh, so now that we've got that, what we need to do is before we request focus, uh, could be after, no, no, before, I'd say, we add the key listener. So what it takes, so we're adding a key listener to this, so to the object, to the game canvas, and the key listener that we're adding is the game canvas itself. I know that doesn't make much sense, but because we've like, implemented the key listener, then it basically takes a form of a key listener itself. Sort of, in a weird way. That's not the computer science way, that's just the way I think of it, so uh, if you're a computer science student, don't mock me, please. I don't start university software engineering till s September. Can't wait for that. Anyway. Uh, and then we request focus so that the game canvas itself is the object which your key strokes go to. Like so, say you had maybe four frames and you only wanted to send input to one, then you would request focus for the one that you're sending input to. That's uh, simple enough. And yeah, um, where am I? Right. So uh, what we've done is we've got our move. For the man, the man still has to move. The, the keyboard input, I'm not making move the man. Everything that you're doing should be an update. If you're moving, update. Collisions, update. E e physics, update. Stuff like that, it's all an update. And of course, you're drawing him. Uh, I would recommend, like, we've only got two things just now, but when you start getting more in here, probably create, create an array, like a drawable array. And then everything that's getting drawn, just add a reference to it in the array. That's a kind of C++ thing. But anyway, just add add it to the array. Or like clone it and add it. No, don't clone it. Tell, do, do not clone it. Right, just put it in the array and then you can look through the array and like, thing it. Wow, that made no sense. You can look through the array and draw it. And its respective position. You can also look through the array and do the input. So just put everything in an array and just loop everything you need. That's how I would do it for if, say, say you had 500 enemies, it's like Space Invaders. That's not even 500, but you know what I mean. Right, so then we draw. Right, now, key pressed. Key event E. This is where this exists function comes in, because if the man isn't alive, then there's no point in letting him move, because that'll muck up the game, basically. And then F E, so this key event, whenever you click a button on your keyboard, the back end of Java and the virtual machine, it, it'll do all this stuff for you. And it'll basically call this function and it'll send in this wee reference thing. And it's got its own key code and character key codes. And it, it's got a lot of functions in there, but the one that we're interested in is get key code. Now, if the key code of this event is equal to virtual key, and then whatever you want, up, down, left, V, Y, X, S, A, anything, 
but in this case left then if we want to move our man we're not actually moving the man we're setting the movement of the man as I say we're making him loop all the time okay and same with right hope this is making sense so basically, basically we're setting the the movement and then he'll move because this is getting repeatedly called move 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 but if his movement's at zero uh, he's not going to move anywhere because it's getting times by zero which is zero zero not going to move anywhere okay and then uh, because if we do that and then we don't have the key release function he's just going to keep moving basically what you want to do is copy your code and then change it to setting the horizontal movement to be zero which will stop the guy and he'll stop moving again uh, let's see how this looks here we have our man apple the apple just fell down the screen because it's not got its collisions yet but anyway this man is a doctor an apple a day keeps the doctor away uh, I've pressed right on my keyboard it moves to the right left it moves to the left and that is all we've been doing and if I release the key hold key release the key press 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 uh, so whenever I release it he stops whenever I press it he goes uh, stay tuned for part uh, what man eight part eight next time and uh, yeah please subscribe